and I'm like this, I feel lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself. I just you know, feel lost. Lost my job, lost where I was living, and then I became homeless. And some nights I was walking around all night trying to find somewhere to stay. The council put me like in a scruffy, horrible B and B. It was horrible. And then um, I got offered this place, and the only reason I took it is because I was sick of moving about. I just wanted to be settled. I thought, oh, thing, but I've hated it ever since. I hate being on the door, I hate being on job seekers because there's people out there working their arse off and like we're getting their money and I don't like it. I'd rather be going out and earning my own money. Well, I was going to go in the army and then obviously I found out about the blood clots in my brain and they said they're a rare form of blood clot, only one in, I think it's something like five to ten million people have them. Uh, so that obviously stopped me going in. Um, do you feel bad not working? I do, yeah. Obviously, I know you've only got to go once every two weeks, but I feel like quite degrading working in the job centre. It's quite it's terrible going in that place. I feel like I'm, like I'm a scruff, like I'm a bum because I'm getting money, that's not mine. I want to be out there working for it and like, them not doing nothing and... I don't want to be like this for the rest of my life. Am I still going to be in the door in five, ten years time, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm only 22, now 23 soon, but I always feel like I've left it too late. I mean, if I'd stayed in school, I think I'd have turned that a lot different. That's how it is, isn't it? Put up with it. I've done it for this long anyway, so... Yeah. Anything else? So start dates, 30th? Still 30th, right? Uh, he's on about like a six month, um, not like a six month thingy. But he said obviously, like, ask each, if I'm still in there, like after six month anyway, it just carries on. Did he explain your tenant's handbook and ways of reporting repairs? Yeah, he said there's numbers there, so. You need to now start looking at telling people your new address, like the job centre. I was in benefit or no, because we'll give them obviously, a change yeah, of address that um, week. There's anyway. no one really else. Okay, so no more than two persons to resign the property. No. Cool, that's great. No problem. So no, no tenancy queries, everything's okay. Yeah. We need to get gas and lecky set up, that's important. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be on job seekers allowance much any longer, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I want to be like, I want to get a job. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, with any luck, this might be the start. Well, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. New year, new tenancy, new mm -hmm. flat, new job, who knows? Inside, you know what I mean? Be even it'll kick in even more as well. Obviously, once I've properly settled in, I know I still haven't got a job yet, but that can still happen. You know what I mean? Still got plenty of time for that. Which I'll hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hopefully, this year's my year to get my life back on track.
it's for a, um, a marketing company. It's not sales, it's doing marketing research and it's knocking on doors and gauging people's knowledge of what they know about solar power. And you get commission if you get people to do the market research. It's door to door canvassing, basically. You need the name, the address, the telephone number, the signature, just to show you've done that survey, and then they can ring, and the company could ring them. But like, you have to get a hundred a week to get your bonus. But like, say if you got that hundred, and maybe one or two would touch you, you wouldn't get your bonus. You you work, and you're still you're still struggling to survive. You really are still like struggling to survive because basically when you're working. You gotta pay your full rent, and then it's tax, council tax, and then all oh, gas, electricity, and then other things. By the time of my last job, when I got paid, I had about 10, 15 quid left. That'll have been able to put gas on, and lucky food, and I get working back all week. It wouldn't have worked. Obviously, like as most people, I want like a wife, kids, whatever like that. But I want obviously, I want a decent backing on me so I can provide for them and obviously stuff like that and just have a good future basically which, which everybody wants. What would you like to happen in an ideal world? I don't know, just, just a decent life, just an happy life and I know that it's, you're not going to just get it handed on a plate and all that but just, I can't be done no more, I really can't and say, I feel angry all the time so I feel like breaking something or smashing something but I end up stopping myself from doing it because there's no point. <sighs> Every time I get something good or something's going good for me or I'm happy it just seems to go downhill and then I'm back, in, back to square one again. Back to being a little dull bum. You know what I mean? Just that's it. Me on my own for the rest of my life. And I've been in and out of work and I've been moved around like a feckin' jit ball. You know what I mean? Like house to house, living with family, friends. Like when I'm like this, I feel lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with myself. I just. So my hands blank, I just feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I'm stuck in this just whatever. Like when I just like my brain just don't even know where I'm at I'm half the time. What do I need to do? Why am I doing this? Why, what's the point? You know what I mean? I just that's what I do. I feel lost. Proper lost. That's one way to describe it, I feel lost. Yeah.